Since you clicked this video, you believe that you have a dead Instagram account or that the algorithm hates you. And both of those can actually be true despite what Instagram wants you to believe. But lucky for you, this is reversible. You can revive a dead Instagram account if you know what to do. And that's what we're covering in this video. I'm gonna teach you how to revive a dead or an old Instagram account in five simple steps. So let's get right into it. Step number one is extremely critical. You have to figure out who your ideal follower is or what I call your follower avatar. Who are the people you're trying to reach with your page? So many people that complain about growth overlook this and it's the main reason why. If you don't know who you're trying to reach, how in the world is Instagram supposed to know who to show your content to. The easier you make Instagram's job, the easier your growth will be. Step number one is to outline who you're trying to reach. And this really should be simple, but it shouldn't be skipped. And even if you're in a super broad niche, like let's say you make comedy memes, even something that broad does have an ideal follower. They know they're trying to reach people that come to Instagram to get a laugh. They have a sense of humor. They like seeing things that are funny or relatable. And they like sharing things like that with friends that think similarly. That's their ideal follower. That's who that kind of page is trying to reach. So once you've outlined who these people are, you can then get into their mind and use language across all of your profile and content that includes a bunch of keywords targeting these specific kinds of people. Because Instagram is scanning through everything that you do on your page, across your bio, your name, your username, your captions, the hashtags you're using, all of these things are being tracked. And Instagram is trying to use them to categorize your page and your content to then connect it with people that want that. So the more specific things that you include, across your profile, the easier you make it for Instagram to categorize or bucket your content and then find people that want that. So be thoughtful with the language you're using across all of your profile and optimize it to help bring the right people to you by using keywords that are targeted to them. And you really don't need to overthink this, just communicate using keywords that people that want your kind of content would be looking for or consuming similar kinds of content around those subjects. So now that we know who we're trying to reach and we've optimized our page for these people to help Instagram, we then need to actually bring them to us. And the best way to do that is through content. And so to make sure you're creating the right content, you first wanna hammer out your content pillars, which is step two. So what are the different kinds of content that you're creating for your ideal? people that provides them value because all Instagram really is on a fundamental level is a value exchange platform. The people that see your content give you their time and attention, which is value. And in return, they get the value of consuming your content. So your content has to be valuable if you want people to consume it. And since you now know exactly who you're trying to reach, you know what these people are looking for. So you want to outline three to five content pillars or topics, different kinds of content that you're going to cover that give these people value. If you study any successful Instagram account, they're built around content pillars. So you want to make sure to do the same for your account. This is also another factor in helping Instagram categorize your page and make connections faster. So step two, outline how you're going to provide value to your people by establishing strong content pillars. Having these consistent topics or types of content content is also going to make creating way easier. Step number three is one that a lot of people aren't aware of, but you can actually see where your content is getting pushed across Instagram. You can see the different categories where your content is showing up. So as you can see right here, you can actually go in and find these categories and you'll be able to see where Instagram thinks your content should show up. So if that's not in alignment with where you are trying to show up, you want to make sure to go in and change that. So for example, my account and my content shows up within business sections across Instagram. And that makes sense. That's where I want to be showing up, but make sure that your page is showing up in the right places. This takes two seconds to go in and look at, but a lot of people don't even know that it exists. Step number four is to start posting consistently. Instagram is a data machine. It is constantly scanning through everything it can to help make better decisions as to who to show what content. And so everything you've done to this point has helped Instagram figure out who to initially show your content to. But ultimately it takes Instagram making these tests, showing your content to the people it thinks wants it. And then based on the feedback, the engagement and the data, they then use all this to make better future decisions to push your content even further to more of the right people. You just have to give it time and enough opportunities for this to actually take place. And the only way to do that is to be posting consistently, allowing Instagram to do its thing, collecting more and more data. And this will absolutely happen because everything that you've done previously has helped this whole process take place. So as long as you're consistently making solid content targeted to a specific audience, it's only a matter of time before Instagram makes those connections. And step number five is a way where you can actually speed up that process and it's through doing strategic engagement. So your ideal follower is already on on Instagram. They already have communities where they hang out and content that they consume. So go into these communities, go into this content and go into the comment section and interact with your ideal follower. 
Go in there and provide value. Build relationships with people that you know are your ideal audience. Definitely do not go super spammy here. Be authentic and actually provide value. But doing a bit of this every single day can go a long way in bringing highly targeted people right to your page. And since you already know these are your ideal people, when they come and visit your page, they're extremely likely to follow you, which is only going to help get the snowball rolling and allow Instagram to collect more valuable data to then bring more similar people to your page and your content. It's a great initial push that you do not need to do forever. And eventually once Instagram has enough data, you won't need to do it at all. And your content and your page will act as the magnet to bring more and more of the right people to your page to follow you. And since you're looking to grow on Instagram, this YouTube channel is the channel for you. I post weekly free content helping you do just that. So if you're looking to grow your page, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video that can help you grow more effectively. So that's the system to revive your dead Instagram account. But for some unlucky people, their page is too far gone and they'd be way better served just starting a whole new page from scratch. And if you think you're one of those people, watch this video right here where I walk through who would fall into this category and what the next step should be if they do fall into that category. So if you think that's you and your account, watch this video right here to find out. I'll see you over there. Peace.